deathbed photo. Diane Diamond is joining us for that. So, Diane, tell me what you know about this shot. Well, Mary, I know that it has come to the attention of the coroner's office here in Los Angeles, but is it the death scene photo? Let's dissect it. On the floor, an ambulance bag air pump, similar to the one seen used on Jackson by paramedics on the way to the hospital. On the bed, interestingly, an adult incontinence pad. Next to it, what could be a tourniquet, perhaps used to bind Michael's arm to find a vein in order to administer drugs. Also on the bed, a box toothpaste tube. Jackson was known to be obsessive about dental hygiene. There are also prayer beads. Michael was known to wear them. Partially covered, a toy doll. It's clear this is not the master bedroom, but one interesting discovery. While Dr. Murray's reps always claimed he was delayed in dialing 911 because there was no phone in the room, in this photo, there clearly is one. Next to the bed, a landline phone. There is also an eyeglass case, but Michael and Dr. Murray both use glasses. Next to the bed, a box of latex surgical gloves, a roll of surgical tape, also a box of alcohol prep pads, often used to prepare skin before an injection. Now, more from the new Vanity Fair. Music journalist Lisa Robinson's relationship with Michael began when he was 14. The last time they spoke was 2001, when the pop superstar was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. In the two-cover issue out this week, Lisa reveals that she knew Michael felt she was a journalist he could trust by the way he spoke to her. He would talk to me in a perfectly normal voice. It wasn't that high, whispered falsetto. You know, he really did have these different voices. Over the years, Lisa saw a huge change in Michael. He went from a very outgoing, enthusiastic child, and he started to slowly get to be more suspicious of people, he started to be more controlling about his career. I think once he had his huge successes with Off the Wall and Thriller, especially with Thriller, and he just wanted to be the biggest star in the world, he was obsessed with record sales and with his own fame. And here's what we're working on for tomorrow's Jackson investigation. More from the controversial deathbed photo, unlocking the secrets it reveals. Plus, Katherine Jackson, after her day in court, and the Lost E.T. interview with Mrs. Jackson. What she told us about pressures to tear the family apart. That's another thing that's in the media about my family fight. That's not true. Then, who wants to be a millionaire? Regis Philbin's primetime millionaire return, and we're there. You know, I never thought we'd get a chance to come back. That's tomorrow. But don't move because we'll be 